88 off. Is this Dolores? May I help you? Uh, yes, Dolores. Um, I um, got a call on my voicemail message, um, and uh, you told me you're the ADA compliance director for the city of Austin. Coordinator, yes. Uh, and um, uh, it's concerning the letter I get on the, on the bill. Every month I get a bill from the city of Boston Utilities, and on the bottom of the bill it says, the city is complying with the Americans with Disabilities Act. Correct. Okay. Um, I find that false and, and or misleading because if y'all were, there would be sidewalks and, you know, accessible facilities all over Austin. Well, um, there's a couple of things. First of all, we are complying or the city of Austin is complying means it's an ongoing process. Okay. That's why it says complying. And second of all, uh, under ADA, you know, the city doesn't have responsibility for everything. You know, some sidewalks are responsibility of the state and the county. Mm -hmm. Some of them are ours. Mm -hmm. And we are, you know, we've been steadily working on our sidewalks and curb ramps for 20 years. It's a big city. It's still sprawling. So, you know, we may never catch up, but, I mean, we spend money every year to do it. But. And I noticed that other utility, other cities' utilities, such as San Antonio CPS and Houston's Reliant Energy, don't have that statement on the electric bill. I mean, it may not be false, but it is misleading. Well, um, like I said, first of all, it's an ongoing process. Mm -hmm. And secondly, we, we want to let people know that we're working on it. Now, the ADA also has a a um, requirement that is called notice of compliance. Mm -hmm. That means that we have to give notice to the public mm -hmm. that, you know, that we're working on it or that we comply or that we, this is how they can get information about compliance. Mm -hmm. So this is, a, you know, the statement that you see there is a little bit shorter than what we normally use. Okay. What, do you, normally, what do you normally use? We say... Uh, the city of Austin is committed to compliance with the Americans with Disabilities Act. Reasonable uh, modifications and equal access to communication will be provided upon request. Okay. Well, why not use that statement? It doesn't fit. Statement. It doesn't fit in the bill, and it's and it's okay for us. That's why we are. That's why I I changed it to the city of Austin is complying because we because it's an ongoing process. It's not that we are done. Mm -hmm. It's just saying we're complying. Okay, how about and the city of Austin is on, uh, using ongoing efforts to comply with the Americans with Disabilities Act? Well, I could consider that, but I mean, we're not false. It's not false. I mean, well, it's, it's, it, it, it's misleading on the face of the... Uh, it's the, not illegal. Uh, <laughs> it's not illegal. Okay, and is there any precedent saying that, that wasn't, it's not illegal or... Well, you can take us to court, but it's not illegal. <laughs> <laughs> it's not a false statement. It's a misleading one. Oh, well, I mean, it's an opinion. It's an op okay. Well, then it needs to be uh, worded as opinion and not fact. We're not even saying it's fact. We're just saying we're complying. Again, the word complying means it's an ongoing process. Mm -hmm. But it's, it's more... But more I think we have you know, a very good record of compliance with the ADA. You know, you can stack us up against any city in the country. Actually, we have a very, we have a very San good Antonio record. has actually better compliance. Really? I don't think so, but that's, again, opinion. <laughs> <laughs> well, that may be opinion, but they're spending more money and they're putting more sidewalks out. Yeah, you don't know that. You don't know how much money we're spending. Um, it's to the tune of, uh, well... Um, you just had a bond package, mm -hmm. and it was passed by the voters, and the voters were the ones to decide what would be low or medium or high priority. I mean, I think that, um, you know, the voters should not, you know, I mean, it shouldn't have been dictated by the voters what would have been, you know, needed to be fixed in that sense, of, because that's actually... Uh, a facility, sidewalks are a facility, not service. I don't know if you're familiar with that Supreme Court case that uh, when the city of Arlington was taken to court. Um, I am familiar.
familiar with the case. Again, I don't. We're not out of compliance. We're not. We're not negligent. We're not. Um, you know, we're not doing anything that's illegal or a violation. Mm-hmm. Well, I mean, I. I actually, when I was walking across the street on um, at West Mall area on Guadalupe Street um, to catch the first bus in the morning, I actually almost fell in a pothole. You can report those to the city. Okay. And we we try to fix mm-hmm. them. I mean, and um, I reported the pothole uh, about back in 2009 of June mm-hmm. on Colorado and Fifth. They said they'll get someone out there and fix it. It's still there, but they'd rather just tear up the sewer line. It's not perfect, but like I said, we're not in violation of the law. Okay. Well, I, I don't know until like I, you know, I, I get some type of president saying it's you can legally put this on there, even though it, on the face of it, it's misleading. Well, again, you can uh, attribute it to the requirement of the law, which is called the notif- notice of compliance. Mm-hmm. That is our effort to have the notice of compliance on our bills. Mm-hmm. So it's not an illegal thing. We're not violating anything. Complying is uh, is it's not that it's finished. It's that it's something that we're working on. Okay. Even though it's going to take twenty twenty five years, or maybe uh, not in someone's lifetime to do. It might. Yeah. But you know, we've been working on it steadily for twenty years. I've. I've been serving as the only ADA coordinator for the city since 1992 when the law was affected, and, you know, we have been working steadily in that since that time. We've never let up. Hmm. Okay. Um, I think because, I mean, you might know we have a, a big um, advocacy group here in town called ADAPT of Texas. I'm familiar with them. Yeah. Well, they've they've been working with us. For yeah. years, you know, mm-hmm. they've been on kind of, you know, initially kind of on our back about it, but... Now I bet you they've been on your back about this statement, too. They haven't really commented. Other people have commented, but I really, over the course of my 20 years, you know, mm-hmm. maybe two or three people have commented on it. On it, okay. And their comments were to view if, if it was on the... Similar to yours. Similar to yours, misleading on the face. Yeah, but I mean, three out of, you know, 750,000... Right. I mean, well, if it's, not, it's not, people are not made aware of this. Um, they see it on their bill every day. I mean, right, they see it on the bill every day, but, you know, just because, you know, someone puts a statement out there, it doesn't mean the statement is accurate or, um, or not misleading on the face of the document. I mean, it, it's like we'll make efforts to comply would be the word to use, not is complying. Like I said, I'll consider that. Okay. But again, we're not violating anything. Right. I mean, I mean, it's not a violation of the law. We're not negligent in our responsibilities. We have a good record. I mean, if you know, again, it's a matter of opinion about San Antonio. But if they're doing better, good. But we're not. You know, we're not running a race. But I do believe that we have a good record. Well, I mean, that's that seems to be your opinion, but I don't think it's. I speak around the country. I'm I'm very familiar because I speak around the country about this. They mm-hmm. actually asked me to speak about our program. Oh, okay. So and I mean, program, I'm talking yeah. from a position of of knowledge and authority. Okay. And uh, where would that say that uh, the compliance requirement? Where would that say? Um, as far as like if I looked it up on uh, on uh, Justia. No, the the. The, the requirement is called notice of compliance. Notice of compliance. Notice okay. of compliance. But it doesn't tell you what to say. Every entity has to figure out what they want to say. Okay. Okay, notice of compliance. Okay. And that would be... In the regulations under Title Two. Regulations. Title Two of the Americans with Disabilities Act. And Title Two. Mm-hmm. Okay. And um, that's something definitely you all need to consider. I mean... Is making efforts to comply with the, you know, it's it's very factual. It's it's there. You know, they're saying well, we're making efforts to comply with the Americans with Disabilities Act. Then you know, everybody in town would know that you know, and can assume that you know the city is comp- you know is trying to comply. Like I said, I'll, I'll talk to the attorneys and see what they think. 
Oh, okay, so it's the attorneys that make the final decision? They might, I don't know. I mean... Well, I mean, I'm, I'm wanting to get to the bottom of this, but, you well, know... Well, we're not illegal, so, I mean, I don't have well, to tell I you... Well, I mean, it's not a question of... It's, it's, it is. I mean, you know, you're saying it's just your opinion, and for for your opinion, you want me to go ahead and change it, and it's like this thing that's 750,000 documents, you know? 750,000 documents? That's the bills. That's how many bills... That's how many, how many bills... In, in the city of Austin. Okay, so the pe many people get seven hundred fifty thousand uh, seven hundred fifty thousand bills every month. Okay, all right. Um, it's it's simply simply to be a software change. I know it won't be overnight. I'm not saying um, go print out a retraction letter. I'm just saying it should be rewarded. It's just your opinion, though. I I I need to go back and and talk to some people here to see what they think. Okay. You know, but anyway, I've got a meeting at 2.30, so I've got to go. Okay. But I will take everything you said into account, and, you know, okay. and we'll work from there. And do you know the uh, city attorney's uh, telephone number? I don't, but you can call 311, and they can give you some more information. Okay. I sure will. Thank okay. you very much. You're welcome. Mm -hmm. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. be able to get away with telling one of my patients a woman comes in and she's pregnant I said don't worry about it it's a touch of pregnancy you know, <laughs> it doesn't work that way